Hi everyone. I'm here today to talk about my book Practice Papers for Computer Science which has just been launched by Vishwas Publications. Now this book consists of 10 practice papers but it also consists of other resources. There's a sample paper analysis where I analyze each question of the sample paper, give you tips and guidelines on how to prepare the topic. There's also another tip that I'd like to give you right away and that is that when you're preparing each topic, make sure that you look at all the questions that can be framed around that topic. It'll give you an insight into the mind of the examiner. Another resource in the book is 10 points on how to handle case study or competency based questions. Since these questions are long and they have a lot of information in them, there is a very special way of handling them. Now, these tips will be really invaluable for you on the day of the exam. The book also has 10 points on how to handle MCQ based assessment, which will be useful not just for computer science, but all other subjects. It gives you tricks and tips on how to handle a MCQ based assessment. And the highlight of the book is the 10 practice papers which go from an average level to a high level. And I assure you that each of these papers are original and they've been made keeping in mind the sample paper. Now, if you're going to practice each one of them, I can assure you that a 90% or above can be achieved very easily. There are also seven project synopsis which are based on the projects that are there in my book, which will get launched in November. Now, these projects give you an insight into how a project synopsis can be written and their references for you to improvise, find your own ideas and work on them. Now, these projects are based on natural language processing. There's data encryption. There's a user interface. There's a user interface with a backend in MySQL. There's also data visualization. Now, all these very interesting projects are available in the book with the codes so you can see that when it comes out in November. So here's hoping that each one of you will benefit from this book and do well. All the best for your term one examination.